Tonight in business, many Nigerians became optimistic after the Central Bank of Nigeria directed commercial banks and other financial institutions to pay and accept the old 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira notes till December 31st of this year in compliance with the Supreme Court's judgment. One week after this directive, has it eased the cash scarcity being experienced in Africa's largest economy? Perpetua Fasomi. Peter files this report. The Central Bank of Nigeria's directive to banks in compliance with the Supreme Court's ruling was greeted with excitement and hope that the cash scarcity being experienced nationwide would soon ease and become a thing of the past. However, one week after, there doesn't seem to be much impact as many Nigerians still groan under the never redesigned policy. It is not everybody that goes to bank now that gets money. You want to, to buy market, you have to do transfer. By the time you do that transfer, you wait for the whole day before the person will get a lot and release that product to you. Most people in the rural areas, it, they are not be finding it very funny. Like I just traveled back from the election. Okay, I will meet my old woman at home. She will start telling me that she needs the cash to do this. I will start finding, going up and down to get It's not as if she don't have it in her account, but she don't have access to go struggle for cash. The way me, I will struggle for cash. Hey, it changed well, well, oh. Because that time when they simply they don't use the old money, hungry, one key person. Since the past Sunday, the, the uh, message that people should start using the old notes, a lot has changed. Buy market of 60,000 and you are going to collect 5,000 for POS. Why are you saying this thing change? What thing change? Nothing change, yo. Nothing change. Market is too cost. The never redesigned policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria was announced on Wednesday, October 26, 2022. Though it has received both commendations and condemnation from analysts and many Nigerians alike, some fear that the policy has hampered growth. Overall, it has been a disaster. We wanted to migrate people away from the cash that they're used to. Um, we want them to start using alternative channels, um, electronic channels generally. Uh, but these electronic channels, we're not ready for them to use. We saw how the system literally packed up. It couldn't support uh, the transactions. The system wasn't ready for cashlessness. We can review, do a review where we are right now. And between now and December, when the uh, old note, uh, we go out of circulation, we could do all that is necessary and proper to be able to have a more effective policy that would not put unnecessary and avoidable burden on the people. It's exactly one week since the Central Bank of Nigeria gave a directive to banks telling them to accept and pay out the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes in compliance with the Supreme Court's ruling. Now, one week after that has happened, we've come to this market and we have spoken to the people, the market men, the market women. We've also spoken to transporters and the buyers and sellers. And one thing they all say is that to a very large extent, there might have been some level of ease, but that ease leaves much to be desired because it is nothing compared to what the situation used to be before the advent of the Naira redesign policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Perpetua Fasami Peter, reporting for New Central Television.